Hello folks, my name is Mark. This is Why I Hate the World. How are you guys doing? So, um, since the election, um, there seems to be a kind of general air of hopelessness on the left. Um, as we've seen, like, um, you know, Trump and his cronies kind of just get away with one thing after another. And a lot of people on the left, you know, Democrats and so on, um, are a little confused about what they should actually do. You know, they're not really sure, how are we going to fight this? And I think what happened over this last week in Congress is a good example of what we need to do in order to fight Trump. Uh, so, for those of you who, uh, who um, aren't aware of what happened, um, basically what happened was the very first action of the new Republican Congress was to remove the um, ethics oversight from, um, you know, there's there's an independent ethics committee in the House, you know, that has the power to, um, you know, look into violations and stuff like that. The very first thing they did was to remove that and to put it under the control of the House. So basically saying that, okay, well, we are going to investigate ourselves, you know. So basically it was uh, Fox watching the hen house time, right? And uh, so then a funny thing happened is that, you know, people actually paid attention this time. And um, keep in mind that the Democrats couldn't stop this. There's not enough Democrats in the House to stop it, right? So the constituents stepped up and, uh, you know, essentially flooded the um, offices of their, you know, representatives, flooded their phone calls, right? And just, you know... There were, apparently there was such a massive outcry that after one day they undid these rules, which is insane, right? And it just kind of goes to show a couple of things. Like, first off, that the wheels of government can really haul ass when there's a big enough outcry, you know? It kind of reminds me of um, a few years back, if you remember, the, um, the uh, federal do not call list got passed the same way, you know, it had overwhelming bipartisan support and something like within, you know, within a month it's like was proposed and passed and all that, it's because everybody wanted it, right, people were calling their uh, representatives and stuff and then that, you know, sailed through Congress at a time when there was just as much opposition as there is, you know, there was just as much polarization back then as there is today, right, that's, you know, kind of reminds me of that, it's like here it's like, right, you know, when you light a fire under their asses they actually you know, obey, right? They listen, they do what you tell them to do, you know? And, um, so the, the second thing is that, you know, the second thing that it says is that you're not powerless, right? And, um, you know, even Donald Trump went on a tweet and like basically, you know, against this. But if you look at his tweet, he actually uses weasel language in his tweet, you know? And I'm paraphrasing here, but it was something, something to the effect of, um, uh, you know, why is it that the Republicans in Congress, um, are focusing on this, no matter how unfair these rules may be, instead of focusing on jobs, healthcare, blah, 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 something like that. And he uses in there that, that weasel phrase, no matter how unfair there may be, right? Trump never does that in his tweets. And it kind of tells me that somebody else probably wrote that tweet. Right, somebody, his director of communications or whatever the fuck, you know, probably wrote that tweet in order to make him appear populist because of this massive pushback, this massive outcry, right? And that kind of shows that it's like, okay, because in real life, you know, Trump doesn't give a fuck about this stuff. I mean, he doesn't fucking care about ethics. Who gives a shit, you know? He doesn't care, I mean, one way or the other, right? You know, I mean, seriously, right? And it kind of shows, it's like, okay, so you can even affect what the president of the, you know, the new president of the United States is going to support by reaching out like this. Okay, that's what it shows. So that's how you fight back to Trump. And we're going to have to do this over and over and over over the next four years in order to preserve, you know, <laughs> to preserve any of the social gains we've made in the last 40 years. So... The next big fight is going to be healthcare, and um, the Republicans have already voted to move, you know, to begin the repeal process for the ACA, and they already have shown that they have nothing to replace it with. So what's going to happen? You know, millions of people are going to lose their healthcare, and and it's going to go back to the way it was, where 
you know, your healthcare premiums get jacked up every single year and you get kicked off, you know, when you finally get sick because they claim you had acne or some shit and you didn't declare that or whatever. And then if you are sick, you're not gonna be able to get it. That's what's gonna happen, right? Unless we fight back. So, you know, it, I wanted, you know, folks, this, what happened here was great. You know, that, that outcry was fantastic. You know, let's do it again. Call them again over healthcare, right? Call them again over net neutrality. Call them again when, um, you know, the Republicans get us into a war, which they will, right? They're going to try to get us in a war and with our problem, you know, if I had to guess, it would most likely be with Iran, right? Over the next, sometime within the next four years, there's going to be a march to war with Iran for some stupid fucking reason, you know, and this is the response that we need to have. We need to flood their offices, flood their offices with, you know, phone calls, right? Because apparently emails don't fucking work, right? Um... You know, I, I guess you could go show up at their offices too. You know, they do all, you know, your congressman is supposed to have a local office that you can go to. But, you know, call them, right? Because they can't ignore that shit. So, anyway, stay vigilant in the uh, era of Trump, and we all might get through this. Adios.